why my Meyer lemon plant has developed yellowing spots on some of the leaves. This is what we are going to cover in today's video. Stay tuned. Be right back. Hello there, welcome to our family gardening community. Marcelina here showing you another video on diseases common to my lemons and other citrus varieties. But before we begin, if you guys discover this channel by coincidence because you are searching for some answers to the problem with citrus diseases, please consider to subscribe. Subscription is totally free. Also, when you see a yellow bell up there on the screen, click that bell guys for notifications so you all get notified when I upload new video. And if you enjoy watching this video, give it like. The more likes this video gets, it becomes suggested video. Once it is suggested video, people around the world are able to watch the video and use the materials. And if you also think the content of this video is helpful to you and to others, please share the material guys so everybody can benefit from it. Okay, so let's continue the show. There is a saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Would you all agree? This is so true. Since this video is about diseases common to my lemons and other citrus cultivars, there is one specific fungus disease common to citrus that I'm going to share with you guys in this video and I will help you identify this disease, diagnose signs and symptoms, prevent the disease from spreading, and come up with a simple solution to treat the problem. So I come up, I pulled one question problem here on Meyer lemon disease and created a video assuming you guys may or have the problem with your lemons like this gentleman here. So let's read the question problem. So here's the problem. Hello, I have several year old potted mayor lemon that has developed some sort of ailment. Over the last couple of weeks, I have, it has gone from developing yellow spots on some of the leaves to dropping leaves. When I first noticed the issue, I thought it was a nutrient deficiency. So I applied the basic Spuma 222 organic fertilizer that I usually use for my potted plants. After a week of application, I notice no improvement. I see no trace of mites or scale insects, so I assume it is either a nutrient deficiency or a disease. I am hoping that someone might be able to identify the issue more confidently than I have been able to. Thanks in advance for your help, Mike. Alright, so this is the issue that we're going to address today. Let's help Mike and the rest of the people, including you, solve this kind of problem. First of all, you don't necessarily fertilize a deceased plant. Like humans, when you are sick, you don't feel like eating heavy food. You rather have soup or any type of fluids to keep your energy level up and stable. Plants do the same. When they are under stress or sick, they don't have the ability or energy to absorb nutrients. So if it happens your plants are under stress or are sick, stop your fertilization, but keep your plants hydrated. You want to help them flush down some of the toxins so they can recover more quicker. So what I'm going to do here guys, I'm going to view a video clip on the screen. So pay attention with the sign and symptoms of the disease and then we will uh, treat this uh, disease and I will show you how to, uh, what type of, uh, what type of uh, pesticides or fungicides that we're going to, to use. So what's the clip?
all right guys before i continue this video please watch the commercial ads guys this is extremely helpful to my channel so it can continue to uh, create more valuable videos for you guys so this is your admission cost to the to the program by watching these ads okay let's go back to the show now have you seen the my lemon tree on the screen the, the lemon is infected by a disease this disease is caused by mycosperla citri which is also known for greasy spot the fungus is frequently common in tropical region and subtropical region where citrus is grown. This is a very typical fungus disease, troublesome to gardeners and farmers who grow citrus. The citrus that is high risk for this type of disease is a grapefruit, tangerine and tangelo. And in fact, I just have my tangelo guys, so I'm going to show it to you. Look at my tangelo guys, look at that, look at how healthy is that. It's very healthy, uh, green foliage. So, hopefully, so I keep an eye on this plant. Hopefully, it doesn't get infected with greasy spot. Now, how do you get this uh, fungus? Well, when the spore is uh, traveled by the wind, you know, when the spore is caught by the wind, it infects your plant. And also, when you do your pruning and you don't clean the pruning leaves, you just leave it on the ground over winter, over wintering, and then it becomes decaying leaves. So those decaying leaves is a good host or environment for fungus because it is warm, humid, and wet. Now, fungus also happens in uh, June and July because it's a warm weather, it's humid, and in June, uh, you have rains all the time. Oh my... <clears throat> Alright, uh, how do you prevent the disease? You have to isolate the plants like humans when you are sick or you're infected by COVID, but hopefully not. You have to isolate yourself so that your family doesn't get infected the same as the plant. When the plant is sick, you have to separate them away from the plants that are healthy. So you need to keep the contain that disease. Now sign and symptoms. The symptoms of the this disease is yellowing spot on the surface of the leaves. So you will see in the, the initial sign, you will see on the area in here on the leaves, it's a yellowing spot. And then it, the beginning, it targets that in the lower area of the leaves. So the behind the leaves is, has this opening area, which is called the stomata. The stomata is responsible for the gas exchange. So when, once it is infected, when the cells is infected, it fails to develop chlorophyll. So that's why it has yellowing. The yellowing is the effect of lack of oxygen uh, transport in there. Now the, it becomes discoloration, it turns uh, yellow dark and then it becomes, uh, later on, it becomes black. <clears throat> so when it hits to the fruit, this fruit is healthy as you can see, it's, it's very healthy and, and there is no sign of a black spot in here because it comes from a uh, disease-free plant. So <clears throat> once it becomes uh, matured when the lesion is maturely developed in the leaves the leaves fall down and uh, that is the cause the effect of the the disease so your plant would not have any leaves it turns into naked it's awful i hope uh, amazingly the plant doesn't die with this type of fungus and hopefully not so it just it's just a uh, terrible it's a mess when you have this uh, greasy spot so the leaves, so don't alarm yourself, the leaves would come back if you disinfect the plant. Now, <clears throat> treatment, so how you prevent or how to treat the plant from the disease, I would suggest that if you grow them in container, you need to, uh, if you can uh, uh, repot the plant, repot, disinfect the container, and also place a new soil. And if it is necessary, you soak the roots, uh, with peroxide mixed with water and then soak the root system for 8 hours or 24 hours. This will help eliminate that fungus. Another treatment that you can use is the copper. You can use, you can apply the copper, but I would uh, also share with you the name. So I have the name in here. So I use name to spray uh, pests and diseases and fungus with all my plants because name has two effects. It 
prevents the, the pest, it controls the pest, it disrupts the growth of the uh, pest from the larva into adulthood. And also, it also uh, prevents from that fungus from occurring. Now, the name contains azadiractin, which is the natural component of the, the name that helps prevent that uh, fungus to attack with your plant. Hold that thought right there, Ma. Touch that button. Why you touch the button for? Why? I'm, it's working now. All right. Did you tell them people to click that like button? <laughs> if you guys didn't click that like button, stop what you're doing right now. To give my mama her coffee. <laughs> Click that like button, man. That helps us get recognized I just have my coffee by here. YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, so this all is your the... subscribers get recognized <laughs> and they see your, that's how they find your video. All right, guys, so don't forget to click, guys, and click that like. So, okay, so back to the show. So, that <laughs> is, <laughs> so I have my, my partner in here, so we both together uh, work with the plants. And uh, we've been... Uh, having this uh, book guys coming up hopefully this year is about citrus diseases so don't miss that book it covers everything you need to know about how to uh, identify the diseases and also how to treat the problems so okay so that is the video for today and again watch that video guys thank you for watching and hopefully this video helped you so again if you have a yellow spot that is a greasy spot if you see at the back it's turning brown that is a greasy spot so the next video i'm going to share with you guys the different uh, why the leaves is turning yellow there are so many reasons and don't forget to watch that video next time thank you bye bye peace peace when you say you feel low and good things are hard to see when you pray